Yeah, go ahead. They're at your 12 o'clock, maybe about uh, 500 feet. In the Sea of Cortez, the shark men spot pilot whales, which could lead them to their ultimate quarry, giant squid. 12 o'clock, 500 feet, resting below the surface. There you go. Here we go, stop. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Oh, look, he just eyeballed us. You see him stick his nose out and have a look? Oh, wow! Yeah, that's yeah. called spy hopping, and they actually will totally have a look at you. They're definitely checking us out, spy hopping. They can see just as well above water as they can see below water. And they're coming to check us out. Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 he's clicking. We're right in his, in his oh, zap wow. zone. Yeah, that's a, that's a baby just there, right alongside his mum. The young one's always going to be the most playful, so he's just totally showing off to us right now. Both of these groups are coming together right here. Yeah, so these guys at the moment just seem like they're milling around, taking it easy, socialising. Very, very social animals. Um, they're one of the most social of all marine mammals. They hang out in big groups. Seems like they want to socialise with us. It does. And I'm also really interested in getting some photo ID shots of um, the fins, the dorsal fin, uh, all totally unique between each animal. So I'm really keen on getting some shots to see if we can match up with any other shots that have been taken from this area just as Chris's team does with great whites. Mark, where's your ID photos? From the gill slits, pelvic fin, and tail, they can nail the shark's identity. Yeah, I need this area right here. Perfect. One, two, three. Dave, the cameraman, looks for his own clues. Scars left by giant squid. Wow. Oh my god, Dave, good for you. He is swimming in a pod of pilot whales, and that has just got to be a moment in life you never forget right there. You know, we pass by whales all the time, but we often don't come up next to them on the little boats in the middle of the ocean because we're trying to do other types of stuff. Enjoy, Emma. Enjoy. While the girls are out there having all the fun right now, the men, the hunter-gatherers, we got to stay at home and do some real work. There's a fine mesh net. I'm just gonna drop this over the side, see if I can go catch me a juvenile giant squid. Okay, it's that simple. Adult giants live deep, but juveniles can be found near the surface. We go and we make ourselves a cup of tea. That cup of tea. Oh, did you hear that go? Oh. That was really cool. It's my first experience with a pilot. Ooh, pilot they're, they're like, basically, they're looking okay. They're more like big dolphins than they are like whales. You know, they're gentle. I can't believe we got that close to them. That's pretty cool. You seeing squid? No, no, no squid. What? It's not a thing there. We've got our work cut out for us today if we're going to get any squid. What I might do is, uh, Go and sort out the ROV, and I'll come back to this at night when it's a little bit uh, cooler, more tolerable. Hot as Hades, you can use that word here right now, anytime. You're just like sweating the whole time, and you jump in the water, and the, we can't even cool off in the water because the water's like 27 degrees Celsius. It's only a few degrees cooler than the, than the air. 